alcohols represented by the general formula ROH are classified as primary secondary and tertiary depending upon whether the carbon atom attached to the hydroxyl functional group is bonded directly to one two or three carbon atoms suppose you are given aqueous solutions of three alcohols and asked to categorize them as primary, secondary and tertiary, will you be able to do so without observing their molecular structures? Well, the Lucas test, an analytical technique, comes to your rescue. Let us first discuss the principle behind the test. The Lucas reagent reacts with aqueous solution of an alcohol and replaces its hydroxyl group with a halogen group, thus forming an alkyl halide. This alkyl halide is insoluble in the medium and hence turns the solution turbid. This reaction occurs almost immediately for a tertiary alcohol. The rate of reaction is relatively slow for secondary alcohols. And still slower in case of primary alcohols. Due to this difference in the rates, this reaction can be used to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. We shall now perform the Lucas test in our virtual lab. For this, we need to first prepare the Lucas reagent. Take 47 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid into a 100 ml beaker placed in an ice bath. Weigh out 62.5 gram of zinc chloride. Allow the zinc chloride to dry in an oven for at least 2 hours. Now cool the zinc chloride in a desiccator to avoid air contact. Slowly add the zinc chloride to the hydrochloric acid in the beaker. Stir the mixture till the zinc chloride dissolves completely. The solution of anhydrous zinc chloride is concentrated hydrochloric acid is known as the Lucas reagent. Now add the Lucas reagent to the three given solutions and measure the time required for them to turn turbid. The test tube in which turbidity is observed almost immediately contains a solution of tertiary alcohol. The one in which it takes some time for the solution to get turbid is a solution of secondary alcohol. While the one in which turbidity does not appear even on heating is a primary alcohol. The reactions proceed via the carbocation mechanism and as tertiary carbocations are the most stable, they are most readily formed, followed by the formation of secondary carbocations and primary carbocations respectively. You can refer to our topic of carbocation stability for a detailed explanation on this. To sum up, we have studied that the Lucas test is an analytical technique to distinguish between aqueous solutions of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. 
Lucas reagent is a solution of anhydrous zinc chloride in concentrated hydrochloric acid. It reacts with aqueous solutions of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols to form the respective alkyl halides, which are insoluble in the medium and cause turbidity. Tertiary alcohols react the fastest, followed by secondary and then primary alcohols. Therefore, this reaction can be utilized to distinguish between the three kinds of alcohols. Addition Reactions of Alkenes Part 2 Objective To study the addition reactions of alkenes Addition of reagents like hydrogen, halogen, hydrogen halides, water etc. to an alkene is known as addition reaction of alkenes Reaction with Hydrogen Addition reaction of alkenes with hydrogen is called hydrogenation of alkenes. When an alkene such as ethene and hydrogen are passed over Rene nickel catalyst at about 150 degrees Celsius, ethene reacts with hydrogen on the surface of Rene nickel to form ethane. Reaction with halogen Addition reaction of alkenes with halogens is called halogenation of alkenes. Take a glass jar filled with bromine water. Pass ethene gas through it. Here the reaction between ethene and bromine water gives 1,2-dibromoethane. This is indicated by decolorization of bromine water. Reaction with hydrogen halides Addition reaction of alkenes with hydrogen halides HX is called hydrohalogenation of alkenes. 
when gaseous hydrogen chloride is passed through propene gas, two products are possible, one chloropropane and two chloropropane. Out of these two, two chloropropane is the major product according to Markovnikov rule. Reaction with water Addition reaction of alkenes with water is called hydration of alkenes. Ethene in the presence of phosphoric acid adsorbed on the silica pellets is treated with water at about 300 degrees Celsius and 60 to 70 atmospheric pressure. Here the reaction between ethene and water gives ethanol. Summary To conclude, we have studied that ethene reacts with hydrogen to give ethane. Ethene decolorizes bromine water to give 1,2-dibromoethane. Propane reacts with hydrogen chloride to give 2-chloropropane as a major product. Ethene also undergoes hydration to give ethanol. Physical Properties of Alkyl Halides Alkyl halides are denoted by the general formula Rx, where R denotes the alkyl or aryl group and X denotes the halogens. Due to the higher electronegativity of halogens, alkyl halides are polar molecules with delta minus charge on the halogen and delta plus charge on carbon. Being polar, alkyl halides are held together by dipole-dipole interactions. We know that when any two molecules are quite close to each other, dispersion forces also act between them. The extent of these interactions determines the physical properties of alkyl halides. In this topic, let us explore some of these physical properties. Physical state Lower alkyl halides, say for example, methyl chloride, methyl bromide, ethyl chloride, exist as gases. However, as the size of the alkyl group increases, the dispersion forces acting between the molecules consequently increase, causing them to come closer to each other. Thus, the higher members exist as liquids or solids. This fact can also be verified graphically. Pure alkyl halides are colorless. However, bromides and iodides develop color when exposed to light. This is because they decompose to form the respective halogens, both of which are colored. Boiling points let us compare the boiling points of pentane and 1-chloropentane. While pentane boils at 36 degrees Celsius, chloropentane has to be heated to 108 degrees Celsius to boil it. Clearly, the chloropentane molecule has a higher molecular mass resulting in higher dispersion forces. Also, the polar nature of the CCL bond in chloropentene gives rise to stronger dipole-dipole interactions between its molecules. From this we can conclude that alkyl halides have higher boiling points than the parent hydrocarbons. Let us once again look at the graph plotted for boiling points of different alkyl halides. You can notice that for the same alkyl group, the boiling points of alkyl iodides are higher than those of bromides, which in turn are higher than those of chlorides. This is because with the increase in size and mass of the halogen atom, the magnitude of dispersion forces 
also referred to as the Van der Waals forces, also increases. Now, let us compare the boiling points of three isomeric halides, namely 1-bromobutane, 2-bromobutane and 2-bromo-2-methylpropane. Clearly, the boiling point of 2-bromo-2-methylpropane is the lowest. This is because branching reduces the surface area of molecules which subsequently reduces the strength of the dispersion forces acting between them. Solubility We know that water molecules are held together by strong hydrogen bonds between them. When an alkyl halide Rx is added to water, energy has to be supplied to break the hydrogen bonds as well as to overcome the intermolecular forces of attraction acting between the alkyl halide molecules. As new intermolecular forces of attraction are developed between the alkyl halide and water molecules, energy is released. However, as the released energy is far too short of the total energy required for breaking the original intermolecular forces, alkyl halides are only sparingly soluble in water. Summary We've studied that alkyl halides are held together by dipole-dipole interactions as well as dispersion forces. The lower alkyl halides are gases. But as the size of the alkyl group increases, the physical state of alkyl halides changes. Alkyl halides have higher boiling points as compared to the corresponding alkanes. This can be explained by the stronger dipole-dipole interactions acting between them. For the same alkyl group, the boiling points of the different halides follow the order shown. The boiling points of the isomeric halides decrease with increase in the branching. Alkyl halides are only sparingly soluble in water.